Having created this YouTube channel, I end up spending a few hours every day on various social media platforms. I make postings about these videos and my other writing, as well as read a number of things that other people post. There are a couple things that really strike me when I'm reading postings, particularly in different social media groups devoted to spirituality. One of the things that strikes me about the postings in those groups is how many people are sharing very intimately about the pain they're experiencing in life. Some of that pain has to do with, with physical illness or mental health issues. Some of it has to do with the loss of loved ones or loss of significant people in their lives. It also has to do with things like going through recovery for trauma or for addictions. In many ways, there are people who are hurting, who are sharing that pain because they're not sure where else to share it. And the other part of the postings that I find are the postings in response that are trying to offer quick solutions to serious pain in life. Many of those postings while their content is different, they are suggesting something very similar. And what they're suggesting are solutions that are outside the person. So sometimes it's suggesting that a person pray a prayer. And if you pray this prayer, you'll receive the healing you want. Or they're sort of like those old time chain letters that those of us who are old enough remember. But now in a virtual world, they go something like, share this meme and you'll receive a blessing. Or there are those who offer to connect with the person to provide a, a reading or a cleansing or something that's going to be healing from them. So, I mean, these things run from uh, messages about Jesus and Mary and the saints to tarot cards and crystals. But they're all sort of this sense that I have the answer for you and it's outside of you. And that makes me uncomfortable because part of what I know about spirituality and sorting through our pain is that the real answers are inside of us. While I continue talking, be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the bell. If you've watched any of my other videos, then you're aware that I understand spirituality as being part of who we are. Spirituality is a dimension of us. We have a physical dimension, our body. We have an emotional, a psychological dimension, you know, that has to do with our mental health. And we have a spiritual dimension to ourselves. And we have other dimensions as well. But that spiritual dimension is part of what makes us who we are. And it's the way in which we create meaning or discover meaning, find things purposeful in life that give our lives purpose. There, the spiritual dimension draws us to the things that we value that in turn make our lives valuable. And the spirituality, the spiritual dimension is integrated with and works with the other dimensions. It's part of us. And it's nurtured through spiritual practice and things that enable us to experience hope and awe and, and draw us into ourselves in fuller ways. People have developed different dimensions of themselves to different extents. So for instance, there are athletes who have a very well-developed physical dimension. There are people who may score high on an emotional intelligence inventory that indicates that there's something about their psychological well-being that's developed. And people who have maintained spiritual practice for a long time tend to have a very well-developed spiritual dimension in their life. So that it really is about the work that we do to develop each of those dimensions. One of the things that concerns me, or really the main thing that concerns me about some of the solutions that are offered to people is that they pull them out of themselves. They say that your solution to your problem is what I believe, or it is what, is what I think is true. And that's concerning to me. I talk about this in the video, dogma or belief, what's true? 
And there are all kinds of different dogma. We think of dogma in terms of religions, but you know, esoteric and new age groups have their own form of dogma and believe in certain spiritual laws or spiritual things that, that you should do to make the right thing happen for you. But in truth, the real strength for you, the real healing potential, the resilience, the ability to thrive is within you. If you talk to anyone who has gone through long-term recovery, like through a 12-step program or been in recovery after traumatic abuse, they'll tell you that the resolution came from their own empowerment, that they drew into themselves and found the resources that they needed for themselves. Maybe they did that through practicing the 12 steps and they went through a process or they did it in some other process. But the key is that our healing and wholeness come about through a process. When we experience something difficult in life, we experience grief. That grief is that we've lost a secure orientation, a security about where we are in our life. It sometimes feels like the rug was pulled out from under us and we're not sure how to put the pieces back together again. In the video, Loss, Bereavement, and Grief, I talk about bereavement as a process and a process that helps us to put the pieces back together because the orientation that we were secure in in the past isn't gonna work for us once something has radically changed in our life. And so we have to, to reorganize and reorient and rebuild and reintegrate. And part of how we do that is by going inward. We go inward through spiritual practice. We may go inward by working with a therapist we can go inward working with a spiritual director. But you are much too important to settle for solutions that are outside of you when the solution is within you. It's part of who you are. By nature, we are resilient individuals and have the ability to overcome a great deal. We sometimes need support in that process, but that doesn't mean that we are unable to create that resilience for ourselves, That's part of the spiritual dimension of our lives. Thanks for being here. Subscribe, like the video, share it with others, and consider how it is that resilience works in your life and helps you get through those difficult times. That resilience is part of the spiritual dimension of your life. Thanks.